This is the Video Game Votary. Show your support and hit subscribe right now. What's going on Video Game Voter Vanguard? It's your boy the Video Game Voter here with another unboxing slash uh, kind of an initial look. So what you have in front of you is something I've really had um, paid not too much attention to. But I did notice it when I was at MAGFest. I was out at uh, like a local Target and I saw one and kind of got the idea but didn't pay it too much mind. But what you have in front of you is an RK 1UP countercade. Now, these are basically almost like uh, scale models of the actual arcade one-up machines, and it's made to be on a countertop. So I just want to do an unboxing. Um, so first, take a look at the box. Now, this was came straight from arcade one-up. They had a sale. It was about, uh, I would say like 40% off, almost 50% off. Um, so the box says it has real arcade controls, uh, continuous player, authentic arcade controls, officially licensed. And it includes Pac-Man and Pac-Pal. So I couldn't pass up the deal on it. So take a look. The size is actually quite heavy. On the side, you got some of the other games that they have available. The other machines there is. Uh, you got Space Invaders, Centipede, and uh, Missile Command. And then you got the Dig Dug machine as well. And on the back. Included in the box, it's a countercade power adapter and instruction manual. Again, it's got the other titles listed. Set that includes two games. They're listed at the bottom right, Pac-Man and Pac-Pal. See if they got some actual specs. It's an eight-inch LCD monitor, one or two players. Um, made in China. I'm trying to see. Okay, so it's 18 and a half inches tall with an eight inch monitor. So those are the specs that it has. Doesn't quite have a weight, but like I said, the box is kind of kind of heavy. And you got a picture of the Pac-Man, which is gorgeous. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this down here in my game room. I haven't decided yet, but let's get this bad boy open. I've got a nice dull knife just to cut through the tape. Open. All right, let's continue opening this. And he's saving this box, so I say they box are pretty good. Got the foam in there. Got the power adapter. Uh, this looks very similar to the bigger one up. It's not sure just yet, but that's at the top. That's kind of smart for them to package that. Got a plastic cover on top. Oops. Underneath that, you got some. What about that? You got the owner's manual. You got plastic cover on top. That comes off, it's already completely assembled. Um, I believe you gotta unscrew these little screws here uh, to take this. It's like a plastic cover and to protect the screen. So let's get that done. All right guys, so I didn't have to take those screws out. Those are actually the screws that hold the screen in just like the regular full size RK one ups. Um, but that was basically a plastic covering. And when I seen the actual artwork around the size I actually thought that was part of like some kind of plastic covering or uh, protected but before we turn the game on I got it all plugged in I'll show y'all the back of the unit I'm gonna say this it's worth noting that just like on the larger RK one ups it comes with this uh, safety breakaway cord just in case um, the wire gets pulled on or gets snatched um, they basically break away and you could disconnect it so Let's check out some of the gameplay on it and see how this thing looks. All right, we're going to power the unit on. The volume's about midway. We don't want to blow nobody's ears up. Very similar, like I said, to the full size uh, one up cabs. Had the loading screen. 
I don't know if that sound does any justice, but that's pretty good sound for this unit being this small. And you got the game selection screen, Pac-Man and Pac-Pal. Let's go to all-time classic Pac-Man. Now I do enjoy not being having to put this thing together. Sounds good. That's Pac-Man. Very, very good controls. Come on. Nice tight controls. Joystick feels nice. Go, 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 go. Ah. Very nice control. One of the best I felt outside of the regular arcade. Oh, I was stunting on that. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably the best game of Pac-Man I ever played. Got through the whole stage in one uh, one sitting. So, let me see if it's the same on the regular. Uh, full size RK1 of unit to go back to the main menu. You should be holding one of these buttons. Yep. So if you hold, um, let me put the camera down on that part. Hold this top button right here. That's, um, if you hold that, that gets you back to the main selection menu. But why I got the camera down here, look at the controls. So, like I said, very nice clicky arcade stick you got two buttons one two players you got nice graphics right here along the bottom um we'll do an overall look at the um unit as soon as we're done but right now let's check out some gameplay footage of pack and pal i don't remember playing this game i guess we'll see once we fire up if you look at the bottom there too this axe ain't gonna do you know just i'll show you it's a speak the speakers right there at the bottom right Okay, so guess you gotta do these things to get these keys and whatever's flashing, I guess. Oh crap! Walk right, walk right past. Yeah, I never played this uh, this particular Pac-Man game. Actually, a little confusing what to do. I had to do some research on it. But I do know, I think this is on the 40th anniversary unit, Pac and Pal. And it's coming out on one of the other um, upcoming arcade one-ups as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess you get these cards and get the keys or whatever's flashing kind of indicates where you should go like I said the controls are very responsive yeah so I guess that's what you do you get each card and then get the um, get whatever's flashing a little Pac-Man with a twist to give you a different uh, look on it oh, so it's two activated Okay, that's a little different. Ah! Crap. Couldn't get out of that one. Like I said, overall good vibe. That's not even as loud as it goes. Let's go back to the main menu. It actually goes a little louder. Let's put this one back on. That's full value. So I don't even know if that does justice. You guys should be able to hear that though. Well, let's take an overall look at 
the arcade, the one up calicade for Pac Man. All right, so it is an overview of the overall unit. We got the, of course, you got the Pac Man. Nice wooden, sturdy unit. That's the screen, nice size screen, good controls. You actually got the protector cover over the controls. That's the side of the unit here. Pac Man logo and decal the characters. Same on this side. Very, very nice unit. Like I was saying earlier, there's that speaker. So overall, it's pretty nice. Um, I don't know what I could use to compare in size, but um, it's good for countertops. You see, I got it just on this table where I do my unboxings and um, reveals and stuff like that. But pretty nice unit, especially for the price. Uh, normally, the price is about 200 I think that's a little bit pricey for my taste, but um, it's not the worst. I personally think it should be around like $100, $150 price point. But let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about the RK 1UP counter cage. Do you have one? Do you own one? And does this video make you want to invest in one? And what do you think about the overall unit in general? So. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. It's your boy, the Video Game Votary, signing off. I just want to take a second to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Deanna Graham. She was the winner of the Xbox 360 for my uh, 750 subscriber giveaway. And she recorded a short video just to show you guys that she won and just shout out the channel. So shout out Deanna and here she is. This is Deanna, the winner of the, the Xbox 360 giveaway. I just want to give a shout out to Marcus Bruce with the Video Game Votary. Say thanks again. Keep up the good work. Peace. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Votary.